dear students welcome to the knowledge series in the area of futures and fuzzy set now we have already seen futures of crisp set in our earlier video series so in continuation to the fuzzy set we are going to discuss on the different futures on fuzzy set there are two basic futures in the case of a fuzzy set one is an operations and another is the properties operations means the different operations are there with respect to the sets so uh, these operations are basically taking in into account the membership or with respect to the membership uh, uh, graph or the plot that we see that operations is basically being used in the uh, fuzzy for the for determining the corresponding output based on the inference mechanisms inference is basically a rules uh, associated so in the rules we we, uh, we normally use the operations thereby the output after defuzzifications will be getting us a crisp corresponding to the given inputs under the operation let us see some of the terms this set of operation widely used in engineering application that's what i was just stating to you let a and b be the fuzzy set in the universe of discourse x and an element x the following relations of a theoretical operation of union intersections that is a complement is and of uh, not operations are defined for the fuzzy set a and b which is associated to the universe of a discourse x so universe of a discourse is having a two different fuzzy sets now under the fuzzy set uh, conditions the union uh, condition let us see the first one under the union operations the union of a fuzzy set a Uh, either in this notation or on the, or on the top and b denoted as a union b is defined as mu of a union b of an element x is equal to maximum of uh, these two membership the maximum uh, values of the mu a of x and mu b of x that we can denote in terms of uh, this notations also so this is called as a maximum mu a of x v mu b of x for all x belongs to capital x where this x is nothing but the element of the fuzzy set a and this x is nothing but the elements of the fuzzy set b whereas these two uh, different membership uh, functions will be having a union operations which is a, a, a subset of the x that is the universe of a discourse so v indicates the maximum operation now if you take the venn diagram for this union operations of the two fuzzy set a and b we are uh, uh, let us see this a set is having a uh, trapezoidal shape and b is having a triangular shape when these two fuzzy sets are brought together under the union operations so it is just like this plot is coming here and wherever this uh, point is coming if the point is coming here so from uh, uh, this continuation of this one will continue with the path of that fuzzy set b that is what it is shown over here that this is the uh, trapezoidal one this is a triangular one so it will go from the outer uh, uh, surface so this outer edge will be the union operation Now coming to the intersection operation intersection is nothing but an and operation in the case of an and operations the two fuzzy set a and b is denoted as a union b fuzzy set a and b is the fuzzy is defined by here it is a maximum so here it will be minimum operation mu a intersection b of x is a minimum of a mu a of x and mu b of x now uh, if you see this one just like we have taken is like a v its inverse will be the intersections intersection is nothing but the uh, the common points 
So uh, if you t if you take uh, this trapezoidal and a triangular together, so intersection point is nothing but this point. So this uh, 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 central point is considered as the A intersection B or the mu A A of X uh, intersections mu B of X. So the Venn diagram is represented in this form. So coming to the complement, complement is nothing but a knot operations where mu A of X belongs to z uh, 0 to 1. The complement of uh, A complement, uh, if you are taking a complement of a fuzzy A, it is denoted as A fuzzy and its bar, that is a complement, is defined by mu A of X is equal to 1 minus mu A of X, uh, such that uh, 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 X belongs to capital X. So here, whatever is the value of mu A of X, it's uh, if you uh, subtract that one from 1, it will give the value of the, the uh, complement or the not, of, uh, not condition of that particular membership functions. That means, suppose if this is a, this triangle uh, uh, in a sharp edge uh, or the sharp uh, uh, line, if this is a, a fuzzy set A, if you are taking a complement of this fuzzy set, then it becomes reverse, that is the dotted lines. Apart from this, there are some very important uh, mo uh, other operations under the case of this fuzzy set, that is a algebraic sum. The algebraic sum uh, A fuzzy plus a B fuzzy set, it is uh, defined as mu of A fuzzy plus mu B fuzzy of X. That means these both are having a common element X. So that is what uh, uh, been termed in, in this way that mu A plus mu B of X that is same as mu A of X plus mu B of X minus mu A of X into mu B of X. You should remember this particular uh, equations in this uh, because while solving the problem you need to uh, have these particular equations. So this is the algebraic sum operations where the two fuzzy set when it is put under the additions because algebraic sum is not same as a union operations. Algebraic product of A dot B is of a two fuzzy set A and B is defined as mu A dot B is of X is equal to mu A of X into mu b of x. So that is the dot uh, product of the algebraic uh, uh, algebraic product of the fuzzy set that is defined as it's a straightforward. Now bounded sum. Bounded sum, uh, uh, what is in the bounded sum? The for to understand this one, let's see this uh, figure. Uh, in this uh, particular figure, we are, uh, we are shown a, a representations of one uh, 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 particular uh, signal is flowing like this and uh, another uh, th if this signal is flowing in the in a in a in a control manner under the given axis this line if this is an axis and if this signal f uh, uh, flows in a control manner uh, um, by uh, uh, across this particular line then that is called as a bounded functions and suppose if this signal is deviating from the line and going in a randomized manner, then we term it as a unbounded sum uh, functions. Unbounded functions means which is not in a control, but it is fluctuating uh, away from the uh, uh, particular mean line. So the bounded sum A, uh, uh, just like X or we are uh, showing this plus of a, uh, with respect to the B of a two fuzzy set A and B is defined as mu A uh, 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 that XOR form of a uh, symbol that is a plus symbol B of X is equal to minimum of 1 comma mu A of X plus mu B of X. That means whenever you are taking a bounded sum you are doing a minimum operations. So under that condition you are taking between 1 comma mu A of X mu B of X. So among this one whichever is the minimum value that one you are taking uh, into consideration that means 
every value under this particular condition it will be less than 1 uh, but it cannot uh, or uh, it uh, can be it can be equal to 1 but it ca it will never be more than 1 if it is more than 1 that is not being considered so that is what we termed in terms of uh, a bounded sum conditions now another is that bounded difference that is a, a dot b of a two fuzzy set a and b is defined as mu a dot b of x is equal to maximum here you see it is a minimum here it is a maximum of 0 comma mu a of x minus mu b of x so here the difference is being coming here but there is a range is that it from 0 it will take but this value it, it should it will be coming either 1 or less than 1 so it, it can uh, it will uh, try to see that it should not fall below 0 that's why it is taking into consideration the upper level but it should go up to 1 so that bonded difference is coming here mu uh, a plus b has a value mu a of x and mu b of x for every element of x for which mu a of x and mu b of x is always less than or equal to 1 that is what I mean to say that it should not cross 1 and has the value uh, 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 value 1 uh, uh, every element of x for which mu of a of a of x mu b of x is greater than or equal to 1 under the condition this is the basic condition and has the value 1 for every element of uh, x where mu a of x plus mu b of x greater than equal to 1 here greater than equal to 1 uh, what does exactly mean is that it will be 1 but if it is a greater than 1 that particular conditions will be violating the conditions with respect to the sum on the difference when we look across while uh, dealing with the problem you will always see that the range will be under the 0 to 1 in either of the case the properties of a fuzzy set fuzzy set property is similar to the crisp set except for a uh, for the law of a excluded middle and the law of a contradictions now uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, conditions you will see that uh, this particular uh, uh, things will not be there in the fuzzy set this excluded middle and the contradictions now uh, commutative property just like in the crisp, uh, crisp set or a classical set this is what a fuzzy set a union of fuzzy set b is same as b union of a fuzzy set and a intersection of b is same as b intersection of a fuzzy set associative properties so in this in the case of associative pro properties if a, a union b union c fuzzy is same as a union b fuzzy union c fuzzy a intersection b intersection c fuzzy is same as a intersection b fuzzy intersection c fuzzy distributive properties it is having a three sets and this property is that if a union b intersection c then this is splitted in two part a union b intersection a union c and a union b union in uh, a intersection b union c is same as a intersection b union a intersection uh, 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 this uh, a union a intersection b uh, union a intersection c is this is a mistake a, it is a intersection c atom potency for a fuzzy set a this property states that if a union of a fuzzy it is same as a but a intersection a fuzzy it is same as also a identity of a fuzzy set a and a universal set x this property uh, states that if a union phi then automatically it is going to be a because it is a union but uh, if you say a intersection phi it is phi now if you say a union x so it is x but as a intersection x that is a, a smallest one the involutions it is a double neg neg double negations double knot so a if a a add uh, involutions a fuzzy set involution is same as the uh, without uh, any a involution figure that means 
double uh, negation is same as the fuzzy set A without any in, uh, complement. Transitive, having a three a fuzzy set A, B, and C, this property st state that if A is a subset of B, B is a subset of C, then A is a subset of C. That is, A is, uh, is a part of this uh, uh, subset C. A is a subset C, is a, uh, A is a part of C. De Morgan's law, uh, just like a, a crisp set, if a, a, a intersection B complement is same as A intersection union B intersections, and A union B uh, fuzzy set complement is same, same as A intersection, no, A, A complement intersection B complement. So this is how this uh, complete fuzzy set is being distributed in, in a different forms. Now here I have shown you one bonded sum. If you see the bonded sum here it is given, find the bonded sum for x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and A is given uh, with uh, uh, representing that F, uh, uh, set value 1, 2, 3 and its membership value of 0 0.4, 0 0.9 and 1 and B is equal to points uh, 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 with a uh, crisp set 1 and 2 and its first membership value 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 and uh, it is uh, asked for find the uh, uh, bonded sum. So in the bonded sum uh, condition, if you try to see across this one is what uh, uh, bonded sum, it is the minimum of one comma mu A of X plus mu B of X. So if you try to see across this place, it is uh, uh, taking into consideration that is a minimum of one comma mu a of x plus mu b of x. So minimum of 1 comma what is mu a of x? 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 uh, by 1 and uh, minimum of 1 comma 0 0.9 plus 0 0.5 uh, by 2 and minimum of 1 uh, plus here nothing is given. So we uh, we, we take uh, we take into consideration, uh, consideration that it is 0. So that is what we take into consideration. So this is equal to 1 this is also it, it, it is uh, uh, crossing more than one and in this case what is uh, uh, what is happening it is again one so here it is one so minimum of these two is what one now here it is c how much it is coming it is uh, 1.4 so among this one which is minimum this is minimum so and here it is one by four so here uh, one is there and one by four so which is minimum this is coming to minimum. So taking into consideration this particular uh, problem is being determined accordingly. So based on this particular case, this one particular factors, another uh, factors and another factor is being put together for solutions. Now here there is another question is being uh, given. A fuzzy set A minus fuzzy set B is equal to A fuzzy set intersection B fuzzy set and C, this is indicating its uh, complement. So, uh, and uh, uh, the the fuzzy set A, A difference is being asked. So, where uh, X belongs to X belongs to A and X does not belongs to B. So, a fuzzy set being given uh, A fuzzy set is given like this one: x1, comma 0.2, x2, comma 0.4, x3, comma uh, 0.9. This is a fuzzy set. B fuzzy set is also given. So its complement means what? Whatever value of the membership, it is uh, subtracted from 1. So it becomes 1 minus 0.3 is 0.7. 1 minus 0.4 is 0.6. 1 minus 0.2 is 0.8. So you have got this value based on this. So if you are taking the intersections, uh, that is A minus B is the minimum operation of uh, that is a mu a of x and mu b of that is this is a minimum operations in the case so you you, you try to take the minimum operations of uh, this value and this value so among this value which is a 0 0.2 0 0.7 so it is minimum is 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 so 0 0.4 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.8 so this is what we uh, see in the case of the minimum operation this is how the uh, problem of the uh, fuzzy set is being put together for the various you can refer to the
uh, uh, some of the uh, books where you can find the good examples and you should try to solve out the unsolved example to get exposed to the fuzzy set. With this, I conclude. Thank you.